How's everybody doing? God bless. I'm going to be putting a video up on my backup channel. But this is about the Hoover Dam. And uh, I will go over it now. Um, the stuff I'm going to put on my backup channel is what's going on in the Middle East. And I will show it. I got a lot of information on it. So, I talked about in my last video about the climate and the executive orders, which it's postponed a week. I believe I do have information that uh, Hoover Dam, they were planning on in a bigger event, but it didn't happen. And they already had, they postponed this because they were going to use the Hoover Dam, I believe, as an excuse to have this climate executive order and start rationing things and pretty much shutting everything down. But it didn't go down as they planned. So um, they postponed it. I believe something could still happen at the Hoover Dam. And I'm going to go over it right now. So this all has to do with the pyramids. It all has to do with 888. I believe, as I said, I have many more videos on this. This is just another one. Now let's go over the Hoover Dam. No, you probably weren't thinking that, were you? You're probably thinking, JT, that was a weak pun. And maybe you're right. But you might have been thinking, the Hoover Dam. So what, JT? It's a hydroelectric dam. So what? It blocks the Colorado River and creates like me. So what? And I'm going to show you so what. It's more than what it seems. Let's take a look. This is what. Yeah. Did you guys know that there was creepy angels on top of the Hoover Dam? Sitting on weird black cubes? Yeah, that's strange, right? What is Saturn. So I've been talking about Saturn. What are they doing on top of the Hoover Dam? Maybe we should take a closer look at one of them. Yeah. That's weird, right? That's kind of ominous looking. Sinister, even. What is that doing on top of the dam? Maybe we should look at some more pictures for some context, shall we? Yeah, okay, so um, there's a compass with um, astrology, some zodiac signs on it. Uh, maybe the angels are related to the, um, you know, the sign of Taurus. Maybe? I don't know. Let's keep looking. Maybe it's this. This pyramid pointing out this, this strange word. Thuban. Actually, Thuban comes from an Arabic word that means large serpent or dragon. Huh. You guys making any connections? Large serpents, dragons, angels. Correct. Huh. I don't know. Maybe. Let's look at another picture. Hey, check it out. That's pretty cool. An eagle right in front of those angels. And the wings are kind of doing something a little odd. They're kind of going up and there's this light going backwards. You know what that kind of looks like? It kind of looks like a Freemasonry compass in square. Yeah. Yes. I think that's what it is. Suddenly, this is making a lot of sense. Let's take a look at one more picture. All seeing eye. All seeing eye, just what I've been talking about. All seeing eye right here, Aaron Rodgers. Just what I've been talking about. Sure. So we have here is a memorial plaque to commemorate the over 100 men who lost their lives. The pillars, as I showed in my other videos, I a horse with the pillars right here, holding them. That's building the stand. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I find this inscription a little bit creepy. They died to make the desert bloom. What's that supposed to mean? Is the implication that they couldn't build the dam without the death? That the desert couldn't bloom without the sacrifices? There you go. Same thing as 9-11. This is probably a precursor to 9-11. Are they talking about a hydroelectric dam? Are they talking about Baal in ancient Mesopotamia? I don't know. Well, as you can see there, there's the pillars right there. 
maybe the angels and the weird astrology does actually make sense after all. So, very good video, brother. Thank you. Very good video. I know what y'all think. I always show the video. You can watch it for yourself. Right here. Thank you, brother. So, you can find that. I'm not going to leave a link. Right here. Here's the Hoover Dam right here. Hoover Dam was intriguing secrets. It says right here, the ground... The past and present using much of the same as above, so below, above, so below, system and measuring ex exploited in Gaza, ground, the great pyramids of Egypt. So yes, just like the Egyptians, the great py pyramids, they are, they are uh, mapping the zodiac. Right here is the uh, symbol that he's talking about, which there's many symbolisms on there, and this is one. Yes, I believe they will probably bring it down like the pyramids. Uh, yours truly uh, sent me something about it was in a movie. Thank you, yours truly. There's many movies about it being brought down. Which is covering up the truth about the ancient pyramid under the Hoover Dam. The U.S. government. Which is covering up the truth about the ancient pyramid under the Hoover Dam. Which, as we know, um, I Pet Goat, the last scenes in I Pet Goat are, uh, have the uh, um, pyramid. As I show, this is a connection. Freemasonry goes all the way back to the Egyptians. Sacrifice, as they said, as he was saying here about the Hoover Dam, sacrifice. That's weird, right? It's kind of ominous looking, sinister even. What is that doing on top of the dam? Maybe we should look at some more pictures for some context, shall we? Yeah, okay, so um, there's a compass with um, astrology, some zodiac signs on it. Uh, maybe the angels are related to the, um, you know, the sign of Taurus, maybe? I don't know, let's keep looking. Maybe it's this. This pyramid pointing out this this strange word, Thuban. Actually, Thuban comes from an Arabic word that means large serpent or dragon. Very good, brother. Like I said, you can watch this video again for yourself. As I showed an Aaron Rodgers tattoo that he just got. Same thing. You have the pyramid here. You have the water right here, water breaking like the dam. Here's the pyramid. Here's all seen eye. And you have uh, the dragon. This kind of looks like the dragon constellation here. Just as I showed you here. I think it was in here. There it shows, says everything. So, like I said, I'm watching 8-8. Eight, eight. As I said, I've been saying, I've had in my videos about 8-8. Eight, eight. Um, like I said, the Hoover Dam could go down. As I said, but uh, this is just a short video. Uh, this executive order, we'll see what happens next week. Um, if the Hoover Dam went down with water, it would affect the water supply and the power to a lot of people. Um, he would probably climb an executive order. Plus, as everybody knows, 
It's very hot right now. Everything's getting worse. We'll see what happens. I'm going to have a video on my backup channel. I have also have a video about 8-8 uh, eight, eight again. Uh, Trump is going to Arizona, and that's where the Hoover Dam is located. The Hoover Dam is located in Arizona, on the border of Arizona. So, he is going there tomorrow, I believe. 22nd, he's going there. We'll see what happens. Like I said, 8-8 eight, eight is only a few weeks away. Um, you know, just keep look, keep your eyes open what's going on. So, like I said, I wanted to have an update on this Hoover Dam thing. Uh, um, like I said, the uh, I believe they were going to have this executive order. There's videos out there that they were talking about. Um... There was people saying that it was going to go down or that this was going to, something was going to happen at the Hoover Dam before it even happened. There's many videos out there about it. There's articles out there about it. Um, people were talking about it. When uh, they, she came into the climate meeting, they were all asking her what was the executive order going to be. Like they already knew that he was going to have his executive order. But, but he postponed it. Like I said on my backup channel, I'll be going to have video about uh, what's going on in the Middle East right now. And it's actually Isaiah 23, and I will go over it in my video. As always, pray to the Father in secret. I, I get away from this because we're, I'm looking at leaving. Um, yes, I should be telling people to repent or whatever. Seek the Lord daily, as I say, go in your prayer closet. The Father which seeth you in secret will reward you openly. And the bridegroom, right here, he come forth out of his chamber for his bride in her closet. God bless. I hope you're out doing well. Um, like I said, seek the Lord daily. Um, all glory and honor goes to the Father and the Son. And... Uh, like I said, I will have a video on my backup channel. God bless.